Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to Life in Bunker. So, between the last time we played this and now, the developers have made a couple of very nice uh, additions to the game, um, changes. The first change is that you can now place additional reactors and water pumps into the same grid. Previously, you, you didn't want to do that. But they decided against that, and I definitely agree with them that it was a very good change. Um, they did it because it lets you set up your base more to your liking, and uh, it actually is better on performance than uh, the other way they discovered, which is quite nice. Anything you can do to improve performance. They also added <coughs> an additional option to the game, work distribution. So you can actually tell that different people to only work on different floors, up to four floors. Uh, different levels of the the base if you want to uh, segregate the people so they're not constantly going up and down the uh, the elevator so that's kind of cool um, you know, that doesn't affect us at the moment because we don't have any elevator and we only just set up this uh, mining machine so anyway we're already out of out of building materials pretty much so we got our, our mining machine going we've got our refinery going <coughs> <coughs> and we've got our scientists going, churning out science points, which is great because we need to do some research. Um, are we growing any people? Yes, we are. We're growing people. I played this a little bit uh, off camera in a different world and discovered that, yeah, when the first generation gets old, you need a lot of people to replace them because they all get old and go and become an elder at like the same time. And, and you just and then you just lose your entire workforce. <laughs> Because they were, um, because they're too old. I'm sorry about any sniffling or anything that you hear because I'm sick again and my, I, oh, I'm just, my, my, uh, my voice, you can hear it and my noise is just completely stuffed up. So, we're going to uh, do some research. I want to keep the time going because I want to get research points. Um, we could get the uh, tempered drill bit which allows the workers to dig in the hard stony soil which would be nice. Uh, uh, we could get the fast disassembling, which reduces the time to disassemble objects. Digital blueprints, uh, which makes them craft faster. Um, these are like each of these are upgrades to various specific things. Um, bunk beds, yes. VR game machine, millions of virtual reality games. That sounds great. Um, a dance machine, a treadmill. Um, Residents spend 25 cent time less working out on a treadmill than they do on an extra cycle. Uh, the big reactor and the big air purifier, which we can't yet unlock. Of course, we're going to unlock the air purifier pretty quickly here. The garbage recycler, which I definitely want to um, to get, lets you recycle garbage from waste containers. So we're going to research that. And we're also going to research uh, the ore refinery module to make the ore refiner faster. Why would we not do that? That's fantastic. And then, um, yeah, that's basically it for now. So we got that going. Um, our refinery is now faster. If we look, it produces much more quickly, which is fantastic. Four and five. Yeah, if you'll notice, it, it, it produces five building materials, and then it uses up one ore. Oh, there was a bit of a, a rock fall. And it uh, put some junk here. Okay, how much waste do we have? 950. So the, the reason that I wanted to get that waste recycler is because in my previous game, the other game that I was playing, uh, we needed it um, because it filled up. And I didn't want to keep building waste thingies. We're going to get the tempered drill bit so that we can dig through this crap right here. All right. It's going to be important that we can get through that stuff because we want to make... A kitchen a dining area and a place to grow our food and I think we're gonna put it right in here so if we press the number four I, I wish that you could like um, drag out a box I think that's something that the developers really need to add is the ability to drag out a box uh, rather than paint out every individual square um, but at least it's functional at the moment even if it's not what we might consider ideal. Uh, I want to go all the way to the edge because there's no point in wasting space. 
So this is going to give us enough space to build all those things. This is actually a really large room. Um, I think we're actually going to... No, we're going to do this in stages. We're going to get one room finished before we do the next one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and bust a one block hole right there. We don't need a, a two block hole. Actually, we might. Um, people are going to be going through here pretty regularly. Yeah, screw it. We'll we'll do a two block hole. We'll hit that button and we'll get that going. So the tempered drill bit makes them uh, faster at digging normal stuff and it lets them dig the hard stuff. Although it does seem to be taking them a little while. And yeah, I can definitely tell you it's definitely a good thing to get science going early, early on. Uh, definitely a good thing. Let's check out and see if we can research anything, anything else. Wait, did I see something in here? Oh, um, it was just highlighted. Let's see. If we have 25 points. We could get fast disassembling uh, or the digital blueprints. That, the digital blueprints might be nice. Um, a big vacuum, a more powerful vacuum. Uh, compound fertilizer. We, we, we might actually want to get that. Um, reduce the risk of breakage by 15%. Uh, reduce the risk of pipe and cable breakage. Oh, I'm gonna get that because I noticed in my other play that in my other world that that pipes and stuff break all the time and uh, they break more often than I would like them to. And we're done. That person is gonna finish that. And okay, so now now we're gonna put the floors in and everything. Uh, we'll go with blue floors here. Um, blue polycarb. Oh, they're polycarbonate. Okay. No, oh, no, not there. Polycarbonate floor tiles. Um, then we're going to do walls. Uh, except we are going to leave a gap in here. Um, just a one block gap. We're gonna, well, no, it has to be a three block gap. We're going to put a door there. Uh, all the rooms are going to have doors between them. I think that's the best way to do it, um, because I don't know if mer if if more people if more people attack, I wonder uh, if uh, doors will stop them. There's the lift. We have to actually research the lift as well. Now, hopefully, that guy doesn't get stuck back there. Of course, if he did, I would just tell him to drill out, uh, drill out the dirt and go through the door. Okay. Well, well, let's go ahead and place our. Uh, our um, the power cables make sure that okay this door is going to be powered automatically because it's next to that lamp which is going to pass power to it so then um, the best the way, best way to power this door right here is going to be to attach three power cables just like that <coughs> I do like the music in this game I was thinking the other day about a game that would be, that, that that seems like it would be fun. To, uh, sounds fun to me. Actually, no. This 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 worm needs to be bigger. Uh, that's unfortunate. No, this room definitely needs to be bigger. Because what we're gonna put in this room right here is the. Um, are we gonna, we're gonna put the yeah. This room needs to be way bigger. I uh, I screwed that up. How far down can we go? Wow, it looks like we definitely have a lot of space uh, to the south, which is uh, great. Cannot be destroyed. Oh, there's nothing there. Yeah, we've got a lot of distance to the south. This built, this base is basically in the upper right corner of the map. So yeah, we, we definitely need to go a bit further here and make this room larger. Um, so we'll just get rid of these walls. Um, at least they do it relatively quickly. Okay, in fact, let's speed the process up. We have 40 research points now. Let's research the um, uh, fast disassembling. And then we'll research the uh, uh, digital blueprints. So that they'll, they'll disassemble those walls faster. They already drill faster. And then we'll uh, they'll build faster as well. Oh. We also need to uh, demolish that. Yeah, I under I get the reason that that room turned out smaller than I wanted. Uh, it's just because I didn't uh, quite uh, 
factor the walls in. I hope they add different kinds of walls in the future. Um, I can't imagine why that would be necessary, but underneath walls, you have to click on walls twice. There's a walls category as well as just the walls. So I would imagine at some point they might add an additional type of wall. All right, we got our kids. We're getting our kids. Our kids are popping out. Oh no, they were trying to hide their real age to avoid work and then they grew up and they're ready to serve. So our, our children that we had before grew up. Um, so some people aren't quite so happy. We don't currently have any way for them to uh, increase their, their happiness problem. So um, this person here is still a child, not for long, uh, but uh, age number two. This is the person that just became an adult, and this is the person who just became an adult. So let's see. They can be workers, janitors, or, or farmers. So we don't have, we're going to make a farmer out of this person because um, we are getting ready to, to have one. And, uh, and you know what? We'll just make this person a cook because we're getting ready to... Um, to build that as well and the cool thing is that each individual job has a different uh, uh, uniform which is great um, I really like what the devs have done the devs have really made it so that you can tell what everything is at a glance so you uh, you can tell by looking at this person um, as long as you remember what that outfit is um, what they do okay this is a much better sized room for this uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to build a couple of things from residential um, <clears throat> the first thing being the kitchen. So we're going to build the kitchen and we're going to place it um, I think we're going to place it right here. Uh, it kind of segregates the room a little bit. Um, of course the person that's working is going to be on this side uh, and then we're going to put uh, in the canteen tables. Uh, we're going to leave a space around the edge of the room and we're going to place two canteen tables. Um, do I want it? No, no, no. We're going to get rid of that. Um, no. We're going to... No. Wait. Why won't it let me get rid of it? Canteen table. Oh. I have to click on it and cancel it. Okay. Um, I wish you could just click a button and get rid of it. I'm actually going to place these canteen tables here and here. And then we're going to go into infrastructure. Uh, no, that's not under infrastructure. Miscellaneous. And we're going to place some lamps. Um, why don't we place some vertical lamps in here? Give this place a little bit of a different ambiance. Um, so we're going to put a vertical lamp. Makes the dim cor bunkers corridors properly lit. Makes the bunkers dim lit corridors properly lit. <laughs> so slightly different versions of the same thing. Uh, we're going to put a, a standing lamp right... Oh, you can rotate it into different corners. Uh, right there. And then we're going to put one... Well, we're just going to leave it at that, I think. In fact, let's go ahead and make this room a little bit more symmetrical. You know, I'm crazy about symmetry. And we will, uh, instead of doing that, place the canteen table over here. So we'll leave a two-block gap. <coughs> between the tables. <coughs> now I don't know if people have to be able to access each corner to get into the table and if not we could add another table in the future. But at the moment, oh, this is what we got. I could push them together instead, but no, we're gonna go with that. So let's speed up time so that they'll build these things. In fact, let's just do normal time and while they do that, we'll add the power. Power needs to go to the kitchen, so the easiest way is to go right from there and then water needs to go to the kitchen and so the easiest way is to go like that. I do believe water needs to go to the kitchen. <coughs> oh! <coughs> yep, power and water. Let's pause this because we still have to set up the... Um, I forgot about the, the lamps. They need power. So the easiest way to do that one is right there. Connect it to the kitchen. And the easiest way to do this one is right there. Connect it to the door. Let's see, you can usually get away with not needing very many, um... Okay, something happened. A mole man just dug up a hole. Oh, that's bad. Oh, the hole's right there. Oh, we're fighting mole men! Null reference exception. Okay, don't click on the mole men. You get a null reference exception if you do that. Alright, they killed it. So, that's... 
Our residents are starving. Well, we have a kitchen now. We have food. They can't eat the food without a kitchen. Oh, is that the? Is that it? Is that what you're telling me? They're just literally incapable of eating the food without a kitchen. Seems like it. So we need to put a floor here. That's why the mole man was able to dig up through. They can't dig up through the floors. They can only dig up through the normal ground. So I don't want that to happen again. <coughs> yeah, residents aren't happy because they're starving, apparently. It doesn't appear to be a medical condition, though. Alright, let's make sure we're growing some kids. You always need to be growing kids. Because... <coughs> This tells you how many cycles old a person is, and when this gets to 10, they become an old person and you can't they can't have jobs anymore. So you need to make sure you have at least 10 of them, and it takes a couple cycles to grow each kid, so. Ha! <laughs> this person's upset about something. Cuz they're starving. Well, now you can get food because the, ki the kitchen is here. But because of that, we now need a way to grow uh, more food. So that's why this room is for over here. Uh, we won't. Ma we don't need to make it as big as this, although we might do. Um, what we can do though is just kind of go like that, and like that, and like that. Remember where the wall is gonna go, and like that should be enough. See, the grow things are four blocks long. Um, and all we really need in here are the, the farm things. So we could put one one here. Wait, are they four? Let me check. So if we go to farming, we go to the vegetable patch. No, it's three blocks. Vegetable patches are three blocks. Although then we have grain patches, which we can't do, fish aquariums, and fruit bushes. But at the moment, we have uh, we're going to have vegetable patches, and I want to place them this way. Uh, so what we need... <clears throat> okay, so the development console came up because I clicked on that mole man. What we need is um, one, two, three across for each one. Yes. Um, so if we made this room all the way to the edge, we could put two of them across and they'd be butted up against the back wall. Um, so we could really pack this place full of uh, vegetable patches. Um, at any rate, uh, let's do that. And so let's uh, hop to it, you guys. <coughs> Food's available now. So uh, if you're hungry, go get it. You can see that the, the, the vegetables are... Somebody cut their finger with scissors. Well, they should really be... Uh, Smarter than that. Oh, it's the cook. Why was the cook using scissors? Well, if you're upset because you're hungry, go and eat. You know? You can stop working and go eat food. You know? Dude. Why don't you just stop eat working and go eat? Okay, you're going to take a shower. I would have gone to eat some... And you're having a sleep. I would have gone to eat some food. If I was you. We have food. We have access to food now. <clears throat> you have the kitchen. and the, the chef is making food. So you guys can just stop being so silly because we're, we're cooking meals. We have meals now. Oh, come on. Don't leave this whole thing just open. I need to put down floors. Okay, so the cook has to put the meals on the table for people to eat them. Gotcha. Well, we'll recover from starving pretty soon here. Okay, here's a question. Can we speed up the kitchen with some research? 
Um, maybe, probably not. I didn't see it earlier. There's the lift. Big reactors and air propulsors. Increase the speed of decomposition. Oh, waste recycling. And do an upgraded module uses the time of building materials production. Heat the spent versus miner from overheating. Compound fertilizer, grain patch, fish aquarium, fruit bush. Um <coughs> <coughs> No we can't. There is nothing that we could do to uh ooh, water is uh low. We're gonna need another water pump. Nothing we could do to speed up the uh the kitchen except building more kitchens. So, well, let's go ahead and uh, we're getting vegetables. So, why don't we uh, fish aquarium? The reason I have fishermen. Do we even have any fishermen? Anyone who could be a fisherman? Or do they just need farmers? They just need farmers, don't they? Yeah, they just need farmers. This person can't do anything except clean and repair things. I do want another janitor because one janitor is not enough and I will want another farmer probably anyway come on you people do the work for which I don't pay you the work for which your life depends if you don't do the jobs you will die <coughs> because I am apparently an ageless individual that you have placed in some sort of Robert House style da ah, defending the bunker was there another mole man attack <coughs> <coughs> what were they defending the bunker against okay um, we need to get a medical uh, set up we don't currently have one, which is a problem. Um, if I remember, the infirmary is a two by three, uh, so we could put it in this room if we if we carved out this uh, three three wide room, we could put it in there, and it would fit. We could put one right here, or we could put one right here. So it wouldn't uh, fill the entire room. That's what we'll do. Then we'll cut out the walls. Put that there. And um, well, see, the entrance to this will need to be in this room because or, because we really can't put it behind the entrance. It's kind of funny that the entrance is right there. We c the entrance really should be right, right up against one of the edges, but then that would severely limit where they could place the um, things. So we may have the infirmary access off the. Uh, <coughs> dining hall if we put it here which wouldn't be a big deal uh, we might want it close to residential but honestly it's not a big deal if it's right here we'll just break these three so we can put a door there alright so let's get it going in these kind of games I never like doing too many construction projects at once because then they all seem they all end up taking an age because they're splitting their time between them. All right, let's figure out this thing because we don't have enough water. We're not going to have enough water for the farm plots, so we need another water pump. Um, the obvious answer would be to put our water pumps here. Um, put a water pump right here in the actual farm room. Uh, requires concrete floor. Okay. Uh, so we will... Uh, demolish these four floors. Come on, people. Well, they shouldn't be starving. We have food now. And we'll place the concrete floor. Um, over here, we'll place the normal floor. And then we'll finish with the walls. Um, right here. Place the door. Okay. So now, 
Oh, I can change the color of the lamps. That's cool. We'll go ahead and place our our water pump. How are we on power? 24%. We're still fine. We could easily place another reactor though as well. So let's place the water pump right here. I place it like that because I want to be able to see the, the, the meter on it really easily. <clears throat> then we need to hook that into the water so supply. So let's grab ourselves our water, pump, water pipe. Uh, it's quite a long way to run it, but if we go like this, it'll be great because we need to run water uh, to the farming plots anyway. And by having a water pump in this room, we can be sure that even if a mainline water pipe breaks, this farming room will never be without water because it has its own, not a dedicated, but it has its own water pump. takes a while to build apparently and there we go so the water pump is constructed and if we look at our utilities we now have significantly more water doesn't even take that much power to do they're digging out the room for the med bay which is great in the meantime we will lay out the farming plots now vegetable patches need to be placed on metal floor but let's lay these out and figure out how many we could fit in here comfortably. Um, now the thing of it is, I can place them right up against here and it'll be fine. And then I could place another one right down here and another one right, right over there. Although I don't know if I could do that many. But I can easily place two of them right here, which is, will probably be fine for now. So we need to re uh, uh, replace that with metal floor. Now I don't know if it needs to be all six of a metal floor or just the three that it's sitting on. So let's go ahead and uh, find out by uh, demolishing these two, three bits of uh, floor. What? No, 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 don't do that. This I can hit the X. Good. And now we'll see if we can place it. And if we can't, it means that, oh no, we can't. So, um, all six of these need to be. Oh no, we haven't. We didn't actually place the metal floor. Doy. Um, of course, that wouldn't work. So let's place the metal floor right here, and we'll just do that. I didn't mean to click on that. And they'll build the metal floor, and now we'll see if we could place the farm, the gr vegetable patch. Yes, we can. So you only need those three to be uh, to be metal. Um, now I could probably place it right here. I doubt that I have to, um, but I wouldn't be able to put it right up against the wall, would I? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, we'll find out if this works. But first, we want to make sure we get this initial green patch built and then hooked up to water. So let us, because we want to get food, because we're at 15 of 40 now. We need more food. Um, in fact, we might need another green patch, but in my other, in my other one, I only needed the one. Um, we'll put the water pipe right there. This room is basically finished now. We need power to the door. Super simple. We will just do that number. We will put walls in. Oh, there we go. So that's it for this uh, episode. We we got uh, quite a bit accomplished here. We we built our uh, yeah kitchen slash dining room. In just a moment, the uh, first of our farm plots will be finished. Uh, we have too many people now, and our oxygen levels are decreasing. A mole man dug a hole. Oh no, mole man! And they're fighting them. That's fine. Two of them. Uh. So uh, yeah, we're doing we're doing quite well at this point. Um, oh, this needs power. So uh, stay tuned. I don't know if the water yeah the water pump. Anyway. For uh, future episodes of this, let me know if you have any suggestions, what you want to see. Um, anyway, sorry that I'm a bit sick. I hope I hope to be back to 100% soon. I'm Setnil H, and I'm signing up.